Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and today will be an update reference the mission editor and a couple of AI changes that have taken place that I'll run through with you. So let's get started. Right, let's take a look at the new uh, landing options that we have for the AI within DCS. Now I'm going to explain this uh, because it can look a bit like an oxymoron. It doesn't kind of doesn't make sense, but it does if you think about it. And I'll explain. So I've got two aircraft here, two P-47s, and they're going to land at rotor. The new options that we've got using the waypoint scenario are these. So let me just open that up. So set option and you can scroll down and select landing options. And when you do that, you are given four different options. Straight in landing, self-explanatory. Basically the aircraft will fly straight in and land. Force pair landing, restrict pair landing, again self-explanatory. And an overhead brake. And for those of you who don't know what an overhead brake is, it's when the uh, two aircraft approach the field, fly three quarters of a length down the runway, circle back round, go on a downwind leg, go on the base leg, and then come in and land. So that's effectively an overhead brake. Now I selected overhead brake, and there we go. Now don't get me wrong, I put this here because I want it to happen before it gets to the runway. That's, that's obvious, that makes common sense. Um, so this new option is kind of more linked to the approach and the landing combined. You can also add a waypoint without putting this option in here. And if I were to do that, I'll add a waypoint to there. And I can still make that a landing waypoint. But it's not needed because I'm going to use this approach landing method. I hope that makes sense. You could still use this landing option without, let me just delete that, without setting this particular element. So that option is still available to you. My preferred option is to utilize this, I'm going to call it the approach and landing method because that means I can put aircraft straight on the deck with a straight in approach instead of flying around in an orbit like they used to do uh, prior to coming in and landing, which is now being shown on the screen. So what I will do is I will delete that waypoint too and just have the approach landing scenario. So let's see that in action. And there we go, that was the overhead brake. Now I'm not going to show you each and every single individual option that's available to you. What I'd like you guys to do is go away and test it yourselves. 
and you'll see what happens. So that's basically the new approach and landing options that are available to you within DCS right now. Okay, so let's take a look at dive bombing. The update to the AI didn't take place in the most recent update, but the one prior to that. And essentially, if you know anything about dive bombing, it usually takes place anywhere between 6,000 and 8,000 feet, uh, and never usually lower than that. So, what I've done is I've set up an aircraft here, an F-16, and its target is the ship in this particular harbour. Now, the first waypoint I've selected, and I've gone perform task, bombing, bombs, auto. If on auto, it will release one bomb in that attack. Direction from zero degrees, and checkboxed dive bomb. Now, what used to happen in this scenario is that the aircraft would fly to this waypoint, fly in a straight line down this particular route to the target and dive straight in on the target. The new scenario now incorporates a tip-in before bombing the target, which is the correct method. Now what will happen is, as soon as it gets to this particular waypoint, it will steer this direction, fly into the target, tip in, and bomb the target. And that is the correct method for dive bombing. So let's see that in action now in the mission. Okay, here we are in the mission. And what I will do is I'll speed up the front end until we actually get to the target. But there you can see it turning off from the straight line direction to the target and then turning in so that it can form the tip in. Okay, let's go into normal speed. As you can see, there's the target to the left-hand side. Aircraft tips in. Bombs away. And there we go. That's the new AI dive bombing method within DCS now. Well, that concludes this particular video. I hope you found it useful and informative, and I'll catch up with you later. Take care now.